Hello people, in this on um, week one, what I'll be discussing about in this video is the concept of Western civilization, in which I see is a very broad um, topic or term, I would say. The reason why I say that is though, as um, ScienceDaily.com referred to as being a heritage of social no norms, ethical values, traditional customs, belief systems, political systems, and specific artifacts and technology that has some origin of association with Europe. In other words, Western civilization is basically focused on European culture that goes back to um, ancient Greece and ancient Rome, I would pretty much say. So basically, just focus on um, just more, it's more European oriented, basically, I would say. Um, I think very, I think Western civilization is very relevant today. If you can refer to from media to religion to sports to college and university, universities are very um, European ordinated. Um, if reference to media, if you look at the ref, re, um, Western media that goes back to um, the Cold War. Um, you know, I think Western media have a very um, an inf, uh, influence on how um, people view um, different. Um, issues that are going on among the world you know sometimes it can be you know biased to be honest you know if i refer to western media you know of course you can refer to the cold war and how they view the soviet union also I look at the western media as being like um i hate to say this day you know sometimes you can get negative aspect of different countries especially like the middle east or like continents like the middle east or african countries um if you refer to um religion um a lot of, despite a lot of religions um, originated in the Middle East, you know, Judaism, Christianity, and um, Islam, you know, a lot of the, um, but mostly Christianity religions have a direct in impact in a lot of European countries. You see, look at countries like Spain, Portugal, and uh, many parts of Italy is more um, Catholic ordinated, while a lot of countries like Britain, Germany, uh, mostly kind of like Protestant. And if you look at the United States, though, which is many people, was predominantly Christian, a lot of the religions like the Puritans, the Quakers, the um, um, Methodists, the Baptists, uh, and Catholics have a major influence in the United States. In fact, it's interesting I bring that up because I took a, a course last um, term um, called um, American Christian, Christian Heritage 530, and it tells the whole history about the... Um, how in a book by Mark Noah told the whole history about how Christianity was brought to the United States and Canada, which which really gave me a lot of good information about how Christianity impacted the United States. But um, you can record, you can record, you can refer to sports. You know, me being from Nashville, Tennessee, I'm a huge Tennessee Titans fan, which was originally the Houston Oilers, but became the Tennessee Titans because to to identify with the city image. You know, Nashville had the nickname as being the Agnes of the South. Basically, you know, we have a, um, a museum called the Pantheon that was based on the um, um, original Greek Pantheon in ancient Greece. And the city identity, um, that's why the Tennessee Titans adopted that name, the Tennessee Titans. Um, you, can, you can look at other teams like the Minnesota Vikings, though, um, named the team after, you know, the Vikings that, that went back to the um, 10th, 11th century. Um, if you look at the... Um, College and university are, are very European ordinated. A lot of um, we know a lot of college university come from Europe. You know, the Spain, England, and most of the um, um, Germany university have a direct influence with a lot of the um, university here in the United States. Even degrees, the associates, the um, bachelors, the masters, and doctoral degrees were, 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 had European influences pretty much. And um, if you can look at um, you know a lot of the public and private schools you know even hbcus are very european ordinated the fraternity sororities which have greek influence basically you know if, if you can if you can look and going back to sports you look at the olympus was starting ancient greece and it was, was it's like um still major sport even today um you know if you, if you think about it um i will say um the mo um no, as I can refer to as well, um, going to the three articles that I read, um, the first article that I, I read, um, what is, um, what's the civilization by Lawrence Bricken, he mentioned about an author named R.R. R. Palmer, who, who history of the modern world mentioned about Western, Western world was centered, centered around the Mediterranean in Greece. And also he said that Bricken mentioned, 
uh, on how many people believe the Western civilization begins with ancient Greece and ancient Rome, but overlook other empires like the um, Byzantine Empire. You got to remember too, other empires like the Byzantine was a major empire as well. But we do focus a lot on the ancient Greece, ancient Rome as being the center of Western civilization. And another article by Alexandra Rostel Rubel, if I said that name right, reflections on ancient and modern freedom mentioned how it was broadly influenced concept of freedom in Western tradition, which one being modern liberal understandings and the other one being classical Greece. So I, honestly, that article kind of confused me, but I think you mentioned about how uh, ancient Greece was a major influence in Western civilization, basically what I mentioned about. Then the third article by Robert Royal, who put the West in the Western civilization. Um, in the beginning of the Royal article, he mentioned about how Chestum, who first used the expression Western man in 1907, Roy also explained who who made think of Western civilization as they think of you know Europe, the Americas, um, Australia, and New Zealand. Also, too, a lot of people have never negative aspects of the Western civilization because they deal with racism, imperialism, colonization. To be honest about that, it does deal with, with a lot, you know, because you know, we understand that, you know, during the transatlantic slave trade, a lot of European countries like Portugal, Spain, the Netherlands, France, England was major um, players in the transatlantic slave trade who brought slaves from the continent of Africa to the Americas. Also, too, you got to remember the late 19th century, a lot of the same European countries went to Africa and colonized the country 90%. That's that's a long talking discussion, but you know, I don't have a lot of time to discuss it on this video, maybe another time. But uh, to wrap it up, basically, the um, Western Civilization is much very relevant, like I say, you see in sports, media, um, college and university uh, have European influence, and uh, well, this is an interesting video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and you have a good day.